just looking to save time and money, right? Well, today we've got the clever hacks to make your life a little easier. We always hear about faster or tastier ways to cook things, but how do you know what's a hack and what's just hype? Here to tell us is Chef Matt Basile. I think that this is great because all we hear about all day long on the internet, hack, 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 hack. How do you know if this thing works or not? You know, and it even predates internet. Whether yes. you were learning to cook at home, things were just done a certain way. Right. But, and you question, why? No, no, why did you do that? Why? And she would just hit you with the spoon. She'd be like, be quiet, <laughs> just do it, right? <laughs> and the kitchen's no different, minus the hitting with the spoon. But right. kitchen, we have, in restaurants, we have certain ways of doing things and we just kind of arbitrarily take them on. Yeah. So I had a little quest. I wanted to know, are these things actually hack or are they hype? I like that you did that and that you brought it here. So right. <laughs> we're going to start with meatballs because there is a certain way that your meatballs are going to turn out right and a certain way to do them where they don't turn out great at all. So we're talking about secret ingredients. What do you have here for us? So there's two ways that we did the meatballs. Yep. There's the Nonna approved hack. This is mm -hmm. something I was told my entire life. You soak the bread in milk and you work that into the meat when you're making your meatball. Okay. And chances are it's because Nana just didn't want to throw out bread, old bread. So Probably. she just put milk on it and worked that into the meatball. You didn't yeah. even know it was there. So then I came up with a kind of a, a hype, if you want to call it that, or a yeah. hack or whatever. Yeah. But my version was to take mushrooms because they do the same thing that the bread does. It soaks up whatever you're putting into it. So you yeah. pulse the mushrooms in like a food processor, yeah. cook it in butter and garlic, and work that into the meat. Okay, so we're doing mushrooms versus bread now. Mushroom I don't want to mess bread. with Nana, like personally. <laughs> right. But I'm going to get the audience to help me vote here. Is it hack or hype? Let's talk about Nona's milk-soaked bread. Is that a hack or is that hype? Hack, hack, hack. A few a people hacks. saying it's hype. A few hypes, a few hypes. What about diced mushrooms? Is that a hack or is it hype? Sorry, Matt. I'm going to go with hype for All the right. mushrooms. And so it's okay. half and half in the audience. Yeah, that was pretty torn. So I didn't actually make the call. I okay. brought in a, a guest chef, uh, Chef Rocco from Pizza Lobretto, and he did a yeah. blind taste test, which I feel like is the best way to determine. Yes. And Nona won. Yes, Nonna won. she no. did. Nona won. Yes. Nona won hands down. Of course she did. You never go against Nona. She Don't. will beat you every time. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that okay. was that was the meatball. Yeah, do the bread. Just thinking about the bread soaked in milk, like it's gonna give it a whole other level, like a flavor. Uh, let's talk about chocolate chip cookies, which is a very favorite topic of mine. Right. right? Isn't it? <laughs> Who doesn't love a chocolate chip cookie? All day long. Like I can it talk can about actually. Them. You have a sad day. You have wet socks. Whatever. <laughs> chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> that's changing your trajectory. You know, that's for the rest of the day. That's it. it. So uh, there's a couple different variations of the ways to. You know, make the cookie, yeah. and a lot of people have very near and dear kind of methods to doing it. Yes. I wanted to test fats because mm -hmm. the fat is essentially what really brings out the cookie. Yes. So butter seems to be the traditional hack. You use butter to make a great chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. There's a lot of great vegan bakeries opening up, and they want a moist cookie without having to use eggs or butter. Yeah. So coconut oil, which is actually 100% fat versus 80% mm -hmm. of butter, is being used to substitute in a lot of chocolate chip cookies. Okay. So again. I put it to the test. I want to see what the audience thinks of this, guys. When it comes to your chocolate chip cookies, what fat makes the cookies the moistest? The moistest. <laughs> Is that even a word? Uh, we're making it one. <laughs> the most moist. <laughs> Is it coconut oil? Coconut oil. Is it hype or is it hack, guys? What do you think? I see a lot of hypes out there. A lot there. of blue. <laughs> How about butter? Is it hack or is it hype? I'm going for hack on this one, and most of you are too. How can you ever beat good old-fashioned butter? We can't. It was hack. It's yeah, yeah. butter. <laughs> okay, so steak. Uh, what will make a juicier steak? What are our options here? So this one was tough because mm. I actually grew up in a butcher shop. Like I worked yeah. in a butcher shop. That was my first job. And there are so many old school myths that are constantly thrown at you as if they're fact. But you don't know. Mm -hmm. And there's two things I was always taught about steak. Yeah. Steak has to be grilled or cooked at room temperature. Okay. And you have to let it rest before you slice it. Okay. You know, these are two things yeah. that are. So we tested uh, the second method. 
No, what, what, what makes a better steak? If you slice it immediately off the grill, yes. or if you slice it after letting it rest for 10 minutes. And okay. There's a lot of reasons why you would do one or the other, mainly yeah. because when it rests, it's still cooking a bit, and it locks those juices in, whereas when you slice it, it just kind of escapes. But there's a, a scientist, a meat scientist, this is a real job, down in the U.S., <laughs> and he declared that to be false. Yeah. He said, no, these are fallacies. You don't need to let steak rest anymore. So It doesn't need to rest. doesn't need to rest. Mm. So I brought in my boy Goody. He's a barbecue master here in Canada. Yeah. He did a blind taste test on the steaks. Okay, this is very interesting. What is going to make a juicier steak, guys? Is it hike? Is it hack or hype? Resting it before you serve it. Um, I'm, I don't know about this mm. one. This They're saying hack, and now you've just convinced me that it's hack, most of you. <laughs> um, how about serving it right off the grill? Is that going to make it juicier? Oh, look at most that. Most of you wow. say hype. I agree with that, that it's hype. Uh, it? Yeah, it was hype. It definitely was hype. <laughs> you guys are good. It definitely was hype. So that was definitely not it, but the day that we did the test, we also tested the from room temperature versus right from the fridge, and the cooking. One? And actually, that one we proved wrong. So Ooh. the one that came right from the fridge made a better, juicier steak. That is very interesting. Yeah, it's why, because yeah. I was always taught from yes. room temperature, but no, right from cold. And the idea behind it was you take more extreme temperatures. You're taking something cold yeah. and you're hitting on a hot cast iron. It actually made a better crust, a better sear, yeah. which locked in the juices. Very scientific, oh my gosh. all this stuff. Well, it's very just really interesting because I feel like we're bombarded with so much information. Right. And every day it's like, oh, you should try this. It's such a better way to do things. Not necessarily. Sometimes you just 100%. need to try it yourself or get Matt to do it. I'm a true you. believer. There's no one way to do anything in the totally, kitchen. Absolutely. It's whatever works for you, whatever makes the best product. Yeah. Honestly, if you can get kids to eat some meatballs, like why not? Yeah, whatever. Right? Do whatever you want. Do what, do what works. Matt, thank you so much for that. Thank you, Tracy.